All right, welcome back. So there is one more thing you can do with standalone that is pretty cool, and that is you can convert your light scenes to step scenes. Now, if you had a step scene, you don't really need to convert it back to a step scene. That doesn't make sense. But let's say if you wanted to convert your pixel scene to a step scene or a generator scene to a step scene, or if you had multiple different moving head movements and you wanted to create all one scene with those, instead of having three, you can have all in one. So a lot of different options that you can do. What you can do is you can simply convert everything to a step scene. So that is super cool. So let's say, let's go back to editor really quick. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, let's go to live color. And as you can see, you have our, let's do our picture amber cross. Well, right now, if you do a pixel scene, it's very limited on your options for what you can do for that scene. Now, on step scenes, you have a lot of options. You can do the fade ins, you can do random steps, you can do preset sliders, and it allows you to do speed properties, whereas pixels does not. Well, what if you wanted to have a pixel scene that you created in pixels, but then you wanted the full capabilities of being able to control, like say, the speed of it? Well, you can't because it's a pixel scene, but now you can because you can convert that pixel scene to a step scene in standalone. So let's go ahead back to standalone and let me make sure which one we're doing. Picture amber cross. Beautiful. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead, import a pixel scene. Amber cross. Beautiful. All right. So here is our scene. Let's turn on our thing. Super short. Okay. Let's go ahead, click this button right here. It says save as step scene file. I'm going to do pixel amber cross convert. Perfect. All right, so let's clear out of this. Let's go ahead to live. And let's just say, let's put it about here to color band pixel minis at our step. And let's do pixel amber press convert. Now we have our pixel scene. It's the same as the pixel scene but it is a step scene. So that's super cool. So right click, now you have speed properties. You can adjust all of that. You can put in your beats, your BPMs, your master speeds. You can control, as I can see, I'm controlling the fader on the mini board right now. You can make it really slow, make it really fast. So full capabilities now because you converted it to a step scene. Very cool. So you can also convert your generator scenes uh, as well. So you can add multiple scenes. So if you had your moving heads for, let's say, blank try, let's do your left try. You got two of them. So now you can convert both of these blank, our blank left and right hex scenes, blank Z, three Z tries, and you can convert these to one scene in steps. So very cool. All right. So go ahead. If you need to utilize this feature, it's very cool. Go ahead and do it, and you can convert all of your pixel scenes, generate scenes uh, into step scenes. All right, see you on the next video.